Good evening and welcome to evening prayer for Wednesday, July 8th. Let us begin. Yours is the day, O God, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. And let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we have confessed that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you as with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O God, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Join me in, O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. We will now read Psalms 13 and 14. Psalm 13. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I have perplexity in my mind and grief in my heart day after day? How long will, shall my enemy triumph over me? Look with me and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, lest I sleep in death. Lest my enemy say, I have prevailed over him, and my foes rejoice that I have fallen. But I put my trust in your mercy. My heart is joyful of your saving help. I will sing to the Lord, for he has dealt with me richly. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. And Psalm 14. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. All are corrupt and commit abominable acts. There is none who go does any good. The Lord looks down from heaven upon all of us to see if there is any who is wise, if there is one who seeks after God. Everyone has proved faithless. All alike have turned bad. There is none who does good. No, not one. They have no knowledge, all those evildoers, who eat up my people like bread and do not call upon the Lord. See how they tremble with fear, because God is in the company of the righteous. Their aim is to confound the plans of the afflicted, and but the Lord is their refuge. Oh, that Israel's deliverance would come out of Zion, when the Lord restores the fortunes of his people. Jacob will rejoice, and Israel will be glad. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Matthew. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you are like the whitewashed tombs, which on the outside look beautiful, but inside are full of the bones of the dead and all kinds of filth. So also on the outside look righteous to others, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. 
Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you build the tombs of the prophets, and you decorate the graves of the righteous, and you say, If we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have taken part with them in the shedding of the blood of prophets. Thus you testify against yourselves, you are descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up, then, the measure of your ancestors, you snakes, you brood of vipers. How can you escape being sentenced to hell? Therefore I send you prophets, sages, and scribes, some of whom you kill and crucify, and some of you flog in your synagogues, and pursue from town to town, so that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed on earth, from the blood of the righteous Abel, to the blood of Zechariah, son of Barakshu, whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar. Truly I tell you, all this will come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often I have desired to gather your children together, as a hen gathers her brood under her wings. And you were not willing. See, your house is left to you desolate. For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Simon. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Join me in the Apostles' Creed, followed by the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he arose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Now we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health amongst all nations. Let not the needy, Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The colic of the day. O oh God, you have taught us to keep all your commandments by loving you and our neighbor. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit that we may be devoted to you with our whole heart and unite it with, another, with one another and with pure affection. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Colic for Mission. O God and Father of all, 
whom the whole heavens adore. Let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you. All tongues confess and bless you. And the men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Colic for protection. O God, the life of all who live, the light of faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past, and we humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours, through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And a colic for cities. Heavenly Father, in your word, you have given us a vision of that holy city to which the nations of the world bring their glory. Behold and visit, we pray, the cities of the earth. Renew the ties of mutual regard which form our civic life. Send us honest and able leaders. Enable us to eliminate poverty, prejudice, and oppression, that peace may prevail with righteousness and justice with order, and that the men and women from different cultures and with differing talents may find with one another the fulfillment of their humanity. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, Soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for thy love's sake. Amen. Join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all whom you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. The Prayer of St. Christon. Yeah, yeah. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. And I would like to thank everyone for their prayers and thoughts while I was recovering from my recent surgery. Have a wonderful evening. We will see you again next week.